do 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 Hey, I'm Captain Eddie Castle, and welcome to my shop. Time to talk tips and hints again. That's right. I get information from you, and I'll share it back with you and people like you who are into wood turning and want to save time, money, effort, yada yada yada. All right, all the way. So we got a good one this time. This is called a phi caliper. Is it a phi caliper or a phi gauge? I don't know. What I what I want to show you is, if you open this around something, and I got to get something over here, and everything I have is clear. If you open around something and a height, you get the height. Okay, I got the height, and then I want to see where the best spacing for the ring would be. There it is. Can can you make that out? All right, it got a little notch right there. That would be the, where the ring would be. One is equal to 1.618399, whatever, phi. And it's proportionately proper. It's the way things work for our mind and our brain. But this is a real simple little duty hickey. Now, I'll put a link to my webpage where I'll have this under sharing information. And I got a ton of stuff like that on that page. But this will show you how to draw it out of a single sheet of a paper out right out of your computer right out of your computer draw it out check the measurements because I'll put the measurements on there this is one and this is 1.618 times that one and I made mine out a little one less than one eighth inch plexiglass I got at Home Depot and that that way it won't shrink won't move won't warp won't twist and it's a simple little gizmo see the shine on simple little gizmo and you open it to get the gauge of where you need for height and width and if you understand the golden mean this will make a lot of sense to you if you don't understand the golden mean like me you're lost but you do need gauge to do it alrighty phi caliper or phi gauge it's one of those I'm Captain Eddie Castellan you got a tip or a hit send it to me at my email address I like